Anyone who has trained for any length of time has experienced joint pain. And it's one of those things that can be so debilitating that it can take away from our enjoyment of training or make it so we can't even train at all. Now, I personally have suffered from both hip and shoulder issues in the past. And while they've both been rectified now, it's only been very recently that I can now say that my shoulder is nearly 100%. And as we get older, we find it's more and more likely that we are going to end up suffering from joint pain. So we need to find ways that we can train around this pain or to train in such a way to eliminate having joint pain at all. The best place to start is right at the beginning with a good warm up. Now I've done a couple of videos showing the mobility work that I do for both my upper and lower body. So if you're looking for some ideas of some mobility work that you can do pre-workout, check out those videos. Now the reason why doing mobility work is so important is because it not only helps to warm up the muscles and draw synovial fluid into the joints, but it also improves our range of motion. Because if we are pushing the weight to an inefficient movement pattern, it puts undue stress and strain on the stabilization and assistance muscles, setting them up for injury. Our muscles are meant to work together to produce a coordinated movement during an exercise. So some muscles will be the primary mover while others will be the secondary or stabilization muscles. So you can see how having a muscle imbalance in one of these areas could cause joint pain. For example, strong quads and weak hamstrings can cause knee pain. So it's important to give equal love to our pushing and pulling exercises. Now I train almost exclusively with body weight or dumbbell exercises. And one of the advantages of dumbbell training over using a barbell is that it allows you to be able to bring your elbows in closer to your body, which puts your shoulder in a lot more stable position. And this works not only with your pressing motions, because when I injured my shoulder, I switched from doing a traditional pull-up to doing a neutral grip pull-up, which allowed me to continue doing the exercise while my shoulder healed. Another variation that is helpful if you have shoulder issues is doing a floor press. That limited range of motion takes a lot of stress off of your shoulder. And if you're going to do dumbbell flies, a great way to do them is off the floor, as the floor provides a stopping point for you, keeping you from overstretching during that movement. Now we should talk a little bit here about rep ranges. Now I find using a little lighter weight and higher reps helps to alleviate some of the stress on my joints. Now for me, it is in and around that 15 to 20 rep range. But I know from talking to some of you that you find a slightly lower rep range works better, more like that 12 to 15 reps. So what I would suggest is that you experiment a bit with your rep ranges to find out what works best for you personally. Now it is important for me to note here that you still need to use a heavy enough weight that it challenges you and it is pushing you to that point of failure at the end of your set. When we have an injury, we have to find a way to work around that injured joint in order to give it the necessary time to heal. And once it's healed, we need to find ways to train to make sure we don't re-aggravate that old injury. Now, if you've been working with a physiotherapist, they should be able to tell you whether it is a muscle imbalance that caused the injury or it's a chronic inflammation issue. Most of us are not gonna wanna do floor press instead of bench press for the rest of our lives, or just high rep training. And we don't necessarily have to, but we may need to start incorporating more of this type of work into our training programs to help keep from re-aggravating old joint injuries. We might have to do a high rep day and then alternate it with a low rep day, or one chest day we do floor press and the next one we do a full bench just giving our joints that little extra break from the stress. But what's most important here is that we keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50, and we'll talk to you in the next one.